Hi, I'm Anna, and today I'm going to show you my Article 1 Constitution with my group. And we are a constitutional government, a monarchy, sorry about that. Um, and so, um, we, um, we are going, I'm going to read you this paragraph, and we are also a direct democracy, just so you know. So, every 10 days, we have a direct democracy to discuss political decisions. So, those political decisions are going to be, like, um, we have to make good decisions for the people to live in peace, and we have a good community that compromises on different multiple things. Um, so, we are very refreshed. So, this is going to be our Mars. We are going to be ready. We are going to be set. So... That's why I, we thought that good every 10 days we would have a discussion about what's bad, what's good, what's going to like maybe work out, what's not. We have like our own voice and opinion in these discussions. Excuse me. The prime minister is the head of the direct democracies and is the head of the country. Um, that's pretty self-explanatory, but um, we have a prime minister in a monarchy. We haven't given... We don't. We want to make sure that we don't give him or her all the power that they um, have, but we need to give them a decent amount so they make the right decisions for our country. We are Elko Poker Mars, just so you know. Um, so, um, the prime minister enforces the laws. Yes, they do. Um, we have some limits on those enforcements. Um, they do enforce the laws, but he does not. Make, he or she does not make the laws. Um, the prime minister is able to deny or approve a bill if two thirds of the people vote for the law. So, if we have two thirds of the people that vote for the law, that means that it's clear that it's going to be um, a law. Not saying. I mean. A bill, a bill, I'm sorry, not a law. Um, so then, the Prime Minister really um, consists a lot of... Um, sorry, someone's typing something. Um, so, it's all this like process of like trying to find out a law, get all the people to vote for it. You can even protest if possible. And so... Um, um, so I might be adding some more as I go on. So, um, so, but if three fourths or more of the people but vote for the law, okay, so the prime minister is able to deny or approve a bill if two thirds of the people vote for the law. But if three fourths or more of the people vote for the law, the prime minister can't deny the law. So Meaning, if three-fourths of the right. law, so and the not, prime no, minister no, hates that no, law, but it's going up for people to vote on, if three-fourths really of them nice vote for it, it's going to be a law. It's settled. The prime minister really can't make a decision if it's going to be a law, even if people vote on it. Because the people decide the laws, basically, and the prime minister basically only enforces the law so far that we've heard in this paragraph. So, that is what our... The prime minister can't deny the law. If three fourths of the people vote for the judges, lawyers, it is their job. Um. So that's pretty self-explanatory. Um. If five six of the people vote to get rid of the law that has been created, the law is not in action anymore, meaning it's getting it's gone. So um. So um. Meaning, um, sorry, I'm just typing something. So, meaning that the law is meaning the law is gone. So, the prime minister enforces the law. So. Period. The people can't make a law that discriminates against race, gender, or religion. So, if I believe in some sort of religion so, and another person believes so, I'm an opposite so religion, kind of um, we have to respect each other. We can't be against each other along with race if someone's a different skin color than me. I can't hate them for that. I, 
I have to make sure that, like, as a prime minister, if you are, you can't, you have to make sure that those laws do not discriminate, meaning, like, um, be on one side or another. Let's say if you really like people with blonde hair. Um, what about for the other half of, like, um, black hair or brown hair? Those people don't get a say in this much in things. So that's why we don't give the prime minister too much power, because okay. they could always just end up with a really bad choice. So, which you never know. so the prime minister is like... An example is, if you are 18 or... Wait. Again, it's race gender. An example is, if you are 18 or older, you can drive and vote. Um, and no law can keep someone from living a happy life with liberty. So basically, um, not just liberty, your natural rights. I'm in a... Um, so, um, and living a happy life with natural rights, so that means that we have, um, different people, like, if you're different, it's fine, you still get the law, the right of voting, of all that, um, and, um, you can drive, you can vote, there's no law that can discriminate you from that, um, and, and no law can keep you from living a happy life, I guess. Um, so, if you commit a crime or disobey the laws, you go to court to find your punishment. So, I've kind of, I'm going to add on to this sentence, actually. You're going to get your punishment. If you are found guilty, you are going if, to go to so, jail. Let's just say. Okay. If you are fined, committed that crime, then you have to stay in prison. I don't know how many years. It could be four. It depends on the crime you've committed. Like if you've killed someone, if you committed murder, then you would have to stay in there for about four years. That would make sense. Three or four. Um... They don't think it's needed. So, it's a really big uh, deal if you go to prison. So, I'm hoping not many people that will go because that's just like an awful place to be. So, that's like the law here. Universe. So, you can't really like discriminate okay. against that law either. So, uh, as people. people um, if the people agree on a unconstitutional so law and it passes, the people will go to court immediately. Just say, can't do, um, you know, blank or something. Well, okay, so I'm gonna revise on that. Um, so if you have a law and it is unconstitutional, I'm gonna say that probably the government would run how that works and how it's ran that way, but I'm not quite positive. But it would make sense if you go to court if you purposely go to court if you purposely vote on that unconstitutional law i would think that the prime minister would get in trouble a little bit so i'll add that in you have to you have to like yeah give me a second i'll be So I'm just going to type on something. So I'm going to add this. We'll be fine. Um, you never know. Um, because the Prime Minister, if it purposely, if she or he purposely does. So moving on. To make a bill, people can create a bill of their own. Wait, to make a bill, people can create a bill of their own, then give it to the Prime Minister, and then he or she can revise it. Then we will have to vote about it It at our next direct democracy. So every 10 days, we can vote on it or something like that. So that's pretty self-explanatory, so moving on. No one can revise the article by taking out some parts of the article, but you can add on if it is constitutional, and 95% of the people have to agree on it. This is really hard to understand. So, if you want to add something on our constitution, you are going to have to either 
Um, you can't take away anything. You can't get rid of anything from that law. You can only add on to it. But if it's unconstitutional, then you're going to have to, like, only if it's constitutional or else you're going to get in big trouble. Uh, you could be punished, you could go to jail, you could be court, something like that. So there's a lot of um, cases in there where it's going to be a little bit of trouble in there, but hopefully people will just get through it. So moving on, 95% of the people can vote. They have to vote and see if it's constitutional enough. We were going to vote on 100%, but we've changed it to 95% because we feel like if some people disagree, it's okay. Um, they have their natural rights. They have whatever they want to. They can, they, they're, I mean, like, it's fine. Um, so moving on, um, they also may not make laws that change a law that isn't that isn't our constitutional or in this article. I'm gonna put a period there. You um, you have to go to court. Then you'll find your punishment, which is really good because okay. you need to have punishment. They also may may not make laws that change a law that is in the constitutional or in the side of code. So if there's a law, 18 year olds can drive. You cannot get rid of that and say 15 year olds can drive. That's very unconstitutional a little bit, I think, in my opinion. But um, if you get that, you'll probably go to court. You'll probably get fined. You'll go to jail. You'll find guilty. You could go to prison. You can, you can get all this stuff. It really depends on the government. It's really their decision. It depends if the prime minister does it, the people does it. Anything that comes to crime, anything of that sort, you will be fined. You could be going to prison. You could be guilty. You could, um, I don't know. There's so many things. Well, you make that you make could happen. Can so, so thanks for watching. Um, my um video on our article. So, thanks for watching.